Hello again and welcome back to the card mat. And if it's your first time, hello, welcome to the card mat. I've got a giveaway coming when I get to 150 subs. Mm, probably about June or July next year, but I've got a giveaway coming soon. Anyway, back to the trick. It's a printing press trick. And I'm going to use these two jokers as my printing press. And we'll put them just there. With a printing press, you'll also need a piece of paper. And what we'll do, to make sure that the paper doesn't get messed up with the printer and start getting printed on prematurely. Too many P's in this trick. We'll leave the piece of paper over there out the way of the printer. Because right now we need you to pick a card, which we can then try and do something with. That's a good idea. So what I need you to do is pick a card. Come on, I'm being silly. Pick a card. You want nine of diamonds. Okay. If you were here, I'd let you sign it. I would, honestly, I would honestly let you sign that card, but you're not here, so it's tough. Nine of diamonds, no, seriously, you could sign the card. Nine of diamonds, and as you can see, it's still the nine of diamonds. In case you think I've done anything, no, it's still the nine of diamonds. And it's the nine of diamonds, which is actually going down there into the middle of the packet, right? So we've got your piece of paper there, and we've got the print and press there. What do we really need to do? Get the two of them together. So we'll get the piece of paper there and we'll put the print and press with it. Too many peas. I'll have a pea, please, Bob. Anyone remember that one? Anyway, uh, yeah, print and press. We've got to construct it because we've got a joker on the top, which actually needs to be on the bottom, to leave us with a joker on the top. So we've got a joker on the top with the paper in the middle and a joker on the bottom. With me so far? Yeah. Explain it back to me. Right. Got to get us a scan. Oh, we'll get the pack into play. You've got to get it to scan the pack because it's got to find your card. Well, there was a reason why you picked one. It's scanning for your card. And once it finds your card, it's going to scan it digitally through the air. No wires or not. It's fantastic, this. New technology. New technology making old sound noises. Here you go. It's just going to scan your card. Well, hopefully it's going to scan your card. So, we've got... A blank piece of paper in the middle of the printer and the printer is got in its memory a scan of your card. Press the button and wait for the printer to kick into action. And there we go, the printer started doing something. It's messing, look at, oh where's the paper going? There, it's coming out the back. It's a back loader. No, no, back loader is where the paper goes. It's a back, no, from, back, yeah, back loader. It's a feeder where the paper goes in, isn't it? Uh, whatever, anyway. There we go. Empty printer, not left in it. The blank paper has gone right the way through. Oh, 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 oh. I'm crap at that. <laughs> I am, I'm really, yeah. Anyway, the paper's come out. What card did you have? Was it the Nine Diamonds? Clever, clever little printer, that one. I've nearly called my Peter the printer. You've earned a new name. You're no longer a paperclip. You're now a printer. <laughs> he knows who I'm talking about. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Do you want to see how it's done? You know how it's done. All right, then. Oh, you want to... Just, yeah, there's two of you there. Two of you want to know how it's done. Okay, well, the nine of diamonds is just a, a random card. So since it's a random card, we'll use it back in the middle of the packet. You do need another one of them, though. That's if you're using jokers. We also need um, one of them and see it's a blank back and it's got a card on the front. So you need the duplicate of that card. Or you need this other one as well. <clears throat> you need this other one as well and it's a double backer. Very hard to find a double backer that way. So you need a double backer and just to prove it, it is it's a double backer. I'll do that slow in case you think I'm twisting the card in here. No, that's a double backer. And obviously you need a pack of cards. Right, what you do is you stick your double backer on the top of the packet. Flip the packet over. You get your normal duplicate of a card with no back and put that on and you cover it with a joker. You can do it with normal cards. I'll give you a quick cap on that at the end. You stick your blank card on with the blank face up and you stick your other two jokers on the top. Okay. Well, if you're using jokers, as I say, I will explain you. Yeah. You show the two jokers back and front. Put them down. 
You now want to get that joker down on the table. So you need to do a double lift. Best way of doing it is picking it up from the back and just sliding. Especially for this one. So you're just picking up the top two cards. Oh, the top two cards. So you're showing a nine. And we're doing it that way. As you're sliding it up, you've got your thumb on that side and you've got your fingers on that side, keeping the sides together. You've got your finger on the top and your thumb on the bottom, keeping that together. So you're guaranteed, 100% guarantee, you'll keep that card square. And you show it. Now, you can either turn it, pull it back down and turn it over. And then just push off that joker. Or you can do it the way i done it in the performance. I think I've done it in the performance anyway. You've got the two of them cards there. You pick them up. And as you're turning it over, all you're doing is pulling down with that thumb. So that you get them two cards there to line up. If there's a little bit of discrepancy at the top, it's not too bad. As long as it's not showing the nine. A little bit of discrepancy at the top, you can always push with that finger and square it up. And then you just take that off. So, you're picking it up, and as you're turning it over, you're pushing down with your thumb, or pulling down with your thumb, sorry, get that pack square, it will help. Turn it over, put it on so it goes flush with the packet, take that card off and put it down. Now they think you're just going to put the piece of paper down here. Then you need them to get them to pick a card. You've got two nines on the top, got to do a bit of a block push. Just a small little block, if it helps, try and get your thumb across. So you're pulling from there, so the, as you do your spread, if you just do a little block push and then then you spread, you might do that. So if you can do, get your thumb across to keep them cards together as you spread the rest of the pack and let them pick whatever card they want. Don't go right to the bottom, you've got your double back here. So they pick any card, we'll take him, he's a handsome chap. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> Only messing. Uh, you turn over, he is. He's got a nice muddy. You turn the pack over, so you've got your double back there. Give them that card, get them to write the name on it. Makes it more effective. They can write the name on it. I didn't do it because you weren't here and it was a waste of bloody time, really, wasn't it? And while they're doing that, you're just getting a break on the top card, if you want to. So you've got a little pinky break on the top card. Or you can go from a flat double lift when you pick the card up, put it on the top. If they've written on it, we tend to blow on it. Turn it over once, then turn it over again as if you're checking the ink. Then you just do your double lift, and turn over. So then you put the double backer into the middle of the packet, leaving their card on the top. Now you're going to do a scoop, which is just getting that top card to come out as you go way underneath them two and pick them up. But obviously you're not doing it like that. You only want a very small gap so you just pull it down very slightly and you should angle it down so it's not showing up like that and then all you do quick scoop underneath and as you're turning over you square up with them fingers so you've only got their cards on the top of your two jokers you then take the two cards off the top so their card and the joker without reversing their order and you plop them on top of the piece of paper put the pack down now you've got their card on the top, but you need it into the middle. And you need to show two jokers. So obviously you've got a joker in the middle and a joker on the bottom. Am I right? Well, of course I am. I've done this one before. You put, do a double push to turn over two cards to show the joker. Do another double push to turn it back over. Do another, another double push and put them on the bottom. So you've got the two cards there, which is their card on the top of your joker. And you put them into there. So therefore, now their joker, their, joker, their card is in the middle. And then you just turn the top joker over to show it's a joker. You can peel the cards off one by one and then turn the bottom one over to show that that's a joker. From there, you're free to do whatever you want to do to produce their card in the middle. Choice is up to you. Honestly, it is. Don't have to go through the crap I went through. My, crap, that was my presentation, that was. Anyway, that's how you do that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget me giveaway. When, I, when and if I get to 150, I might have a beard down to here. I could be looking like Santa. I'm not far off from now, like, but I could be looking like Santa. Yeah, I'll see you again soon. Shut up, me. Shit, yeah, I forgot to say. If you're not using jokers, I did say show you a different way. If you don't want to use jokers, I'll make this very, very quick. Instead of using the jokers, your setup is exactly the same way. You have your double backer on the top. You stick your normal duplicate of your blank face there 
Okay, I'll bring another one of them in. I've got a seven of diamonds. So I'll have a seven of diamonds there. Then I'll have the double backer. Then I'll have them two cards with the seven of diamonds on the top. So when you spread them, them seven of, that seven of diamonds is the top card. Then you carry on doing the trick as normal and it'll still work for you. Because what you're doing then is doing your Uchi bar and you're sticking another seven of diamonds down. So they pick a card, I'll do this as quick as I can, they pick another card, you stick it on the top, you do your double lift, you lose that into the middle. Um, that's your printer, that's all that fucking side. You do your quick scoop, scooping it up underneath the two. And then when you take the top two cards, that's a naff seven of diamonds. You throw them onto there, and you do your double lift, you're showing a seven of hearts, which you then put to the bottom, and then you're showing a seven of diamonds. Which you then turn over, so you've got the seven of hearts. That's if you're not using jokers, you want to use normal cards. Okay, there we go, I'm getting off now. Said half a reel. Hey, bye.